nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Stage one proportion and one off. Fasten your space belts. We are on our way to space with Electron. Velocity and altitude are increasing towards our target of around 27,000 kilometres an hour and an insertion altitude of around 205 kilometres. Now that we've cleared the launch pad, the next major milestone is Max-Q. This is the point during the flight in which Electron experiences the highest aerodynamic stress that we can expect during ascent. Now, let's listen in to Mission Control for that crucial call. Cleared Max Q. KGB discharge. There goes Electron sailing cleanly through Max Q and carrying onwards to space. You gotta love a daytime launch. We are getting some beautiful views from the onboard cameras back at Earth right now. Electron is now at an altitude of around 21 kilometers and traveling at speeds past 2,900 kilometers per hour. Coming up next is a particularly busy sequence of events, each occurring with only seconds of each other. Electron will first perform main engine cutoff, what we call MECO, which will shut down the stage one Rutherford engines. That's followed by stage separation and then ignition of its space optimized Rutherford engine to carry on with the mission. You can watch it all unfold across these camera views shortly. Stage one propulsion holding nominal. Stand by for Nico in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Nico confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. And that is exactly what we wanted. Miko, stage separation and second stage ignition all performed flawlessly on Electron's 60th flight. The rocket's second stage fired up healthy and is now continuing well on its way to orbit with Black Sky's Gen 3 payload, travelling now at more than 8,000 kilometres per hour. With the weight of the first stage gone, it's time to drop some more and streamline the journey to space for the second stage. Electron's fairing will soon split and eject its nose cone halves, introducing Gen 3 to the vacuum of space for the very first time. What we're waiting to hear next from Mission Control is that fairing jettison is confirmed. Let's listen in. And there goes that nose cone. Electron's fairing has been jettisoned. We are now three minutes into the flight with less than six minutes remaining for the second stage burn. Guidance is nominal. Right, T plus four minutes on the clock and the mission is continuing nominally, nominally for Electron and Black Sky's Gen 3 satellite. Having made it through liftoff, stage separation, second stage ignition and fairing jettison, our next milestone is one that you will only witness on Electron. 
Our rocket's 3D printed engines are electrically powered by batteries, but the engine needing the energy needing to keep the rocket going into space means that those batteries can drain within minutes. To keep the mission moving along, Electron's flight computer instructs the second stage to switch the engine's power source to its next battery pack, and it's a move we call the battery hot swap. When that action happens, the old set of batteries are jettisoned and fall away from Electron, so you might catch them on your screen when they do. Otherwise, the comms call to confirm battery hot swap was successful should be coming up shortly from Mission Control. Guidance is nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HGB discharging nominal, approaching up to what in 30 seconds. Throttling down. Electron has successfully completed its battery hot swap on the second stage. We're now six minutes into the flight at an altitude of 204 kilometres. We've passed most key milestones for this launch with only a few more to go, including second engine cutoff. At SECO, the Rutherford engine will throttle down and then stop in preparation for kick stage separation. This marks the end of the first phase of the mission, which is expected at around nine minutes into the flight. Now the journey from the launch pad to the mission's target altitude takes less than 10 minutes altogether. Now at T plus seven minutes since launch, that means we only have a couple more minutes to go until Electron concludes this first phase of the mission. Our speed is at more than 19,000 kilometers an hour, so not much more to go now until we reach that optimal insertion speed of around 27 odd thousand kilometers an hour. Only a few seconds now until we reach SECO, or second engine cutoff. This is the moment when Electron's second stage Rutherford engine shuts down ahead of stage separation with the kick stage carrying Black Sky's Gen 3 payload. Standing by with mission control for that call. Seeker confirmed. <laughs> 